Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we'll consider a very important concept on a low pass Butterworth filter, that is, a numerical on uh, a low pass Butterworth filter. It has been given that a Butterworth low pass filter has to meet the following specifications. There are two specifications, that is, A and B. Passband gain kp equal to minus 1 dB at omega p equal to 4 radians per second and b that is top band attenuation greater than or equal to 20 dB at omega s equal to 8 radians per second. So what we have to do is I need to determine the transfer function h a of s of the Butterworth uh, filter to meet the above specifications. So based on that I have drawn the magnitude frequency response of a low pass Butterworth filter. Uh, 20 log uh, ha of uh, j omega with respect to omega. I have uh, shown kp equal to minus 1 dB at omega p equal to 4 radians per second and similarly ks equal to minus 20 dB at omega s equal to 8 radians per second. Before I actually guess, uh, consider solving this, I recommend you to watch this video till end so that you can solve any numerical on a low pass Butterworth filter. Yes, let's consider that. Are you interested? Yes, let's 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 get back to our business of finding, uh, designing a low-pass Butterworth filter. The very first task I've explained four steps in the previous video. So go back and watch this video if you haven't watched. So that uh, if you have watched, it is very easy for us to find uh, the transfer function. First, I need to find. Uh, n. n. What is n? The order of the filter. How do I find the order of the filter? For this we have one straight formula. What is that? It is the log 10 to the power minus kp divided by 10 minus 1 divided by uh, 10 to the power minus ks divided by 10 minus 1. Again everything gets divided by, so let me write that, everything gets uh, divided by it is uh, 2 log 2 log omega p divided by omega yes so this formula we are very much aware of that so now we'll make use of this formula and uh, put all the values so that I can find the order filter order yes first what what I need to put so let me write that let me help you in finding uh, the order log so log is always with respect to the base 10 over here. So now it is uh, 10 to the power minus kp by 10. What is kp? kp is 1 minus 1. Minus of minus it becomes a plus. 1 by 10 is uh, 0.1. 10 to the power uh, 0.1 is nothing but 1.2589 minus 1 I am going to get 0.2589. Is that okay? That is there in the numerator. That gets divided by that gets divided by 10 to the power minus ks. What is ks? ks is minus 20. Minus of minus becomes plus 20. Divided by 10, I am going to get 2. 10 square. 10 square is 100. 100 minus 1 is nothing but 99. So that is there in the denominator of log. Everything gets divided by. Uh, what do I have in the denominator now? In the denominator, I have. 2 log omega p by omega s. What is omega p? Omega p is 4, omega s is 8. So it is uh, 4 by 8 is nothing but 1 by 2. 2 log of uh, uh, 1 by 2. So if you do that, let me write that. 2 log of 1 by 2. So make use of the calculator and try to solve this. Here at the numerator I am going to get minus 2.58 divided by minus 0 0.60 so make sure you are getting these values so if you solve that ultimately I'm, <coughs> I'm sorry for that ultimately I'm going to get the order of the filter n is equal to 4.289 are you getting it so I get uh, 4.289 so what I have to do rounding off so I said approximate it or rounding off to the next larger integer to the next larger integer. So always be careful. We have a tendency that I'll make n equal to 4, but it is not 4, it is 5. Whether it is greater than 0.5 or less than 0.5, we always round off it to the next larger integer. So whatever I got now, n is equal to 5. So this is uh, very important. Uh, we found the order of the filter as n equal to 5. 
So once we have found the order of the filter as n equal to 5, we can move on to the second step. What is the second step? The transfer function. The transfer function of what? The transfer function of, I would say, the normalized Butterworth filter. The normalized. The word normalized is very important. What do you mean by normalized? Here we take omega c equal to 1. The transfer function of the normalized low pass Butterworth filter. Butterworth filter. So, what is the transfer function? I would write it as H5 of yes is equal to. So, first I will write in terms of the poles that is S minus S0, S minus S1. S minus S2, S minus S3 and the last pole that is S minus S4. We have to find S0, S1, S2, S3, S4 and these are going to be left half planes uh, and we know how to find this. In, uh, we have done this in one of the videos. So I said we need to remember the table, the uh, Butterworth polynomial for the order n equal to 5. So if I know that I can write the polynomial straight away. So I need not have to do it here again now. So it is s plus 1 into bracket s square plus 0.618 s plus 1. That gets multiplied. That gets multiplied with s square plus 1.618 s plus 1. So this is the uh, transfer function. Next, this is there in the factored form but what, what I have to do is I have to multiply and get it in the form of s to the power 5, s to the power 4 and so on. Is that okay? So I would recommend you to multiply all the terms so that towards the end we will get something like this. s to the power 5 plus 3.23 s to the power 4 plus 5.23 s to the power 3 plus 5.23 again 5.23 s to the power 2 plus 3.23 s plus 1. So this is important. So hope you are also getting the same transfer function. So I would recommend you to remember either this the Butterworth polynomial or uh, this uh, polynomial straight away. If you have uh, remembered this in the factored form, we have to multiply and get this form. So this is step number two. So once we are done, uh, this is the trans fun transfer function of the normalized Butterworth filter. But we want it as per our requirement. And in uh, step three, what we do is uh, cutoff frequency. I will find what would be the cutoff frequency omega c. So omega c is equal to so we have two formula for this one to meet pass band requirement exactly and another to meet uh, stop band requirement exactly what is said in the numerical I guess nothing is said on the requirement which one to meet so hence I can uh, refer to omega c equal to omega p divided by 10 to the power minus k p divided by 10 minus 1 whole to the power 1 divided by 2n. So refer to this formula straight away. So what is omega p? Substitute omega p. I guess it is 4 radians per second. Put it 4. Uh, later divide it uh, by 10 to the power minus kp by 10. What is kp? kp is I guess it is uh, minus 1. Minus of minus it becomes plus uh, 1 by 10 point 0.1. Uh, 10 to the power point 0.1 minus 1 is nothing but 0 0.2589 to the power 1 divided by 2 into n that is 5 2 into 5 is 10 1 by 10 so kindly solve this if you do it if you can solve it using the calculator uh, towards the end omega c the cutoff frequency we are going to get 4.5787 radians per second. Frequency is measured in radians per second. Is that okay? So this is there in the third step. And now we are almost towards the end. We will move on to the fourth step. 
uh, what is the fourth step i need to apply apply low pass to low pass frequency transformation so that is step number 4 apply low pass to low pass frequency transformation and the question is why we have to apply the answer is whatever the transfer function we have got here h5 of s it is there with respect to normalized low pass filter so now i need to change it as per my uh, given frequency specifications so i need to include omega c i in the normalized i said omega c is equal to 1 now i need to change that omega c to this value so how do i get that so i'll write h a of es this this is the desired frequency response which is equal to h phi u of es in this expression i need to replace every s with s divided by omega c so that uh, I, the the filter gets transformed to low pass uh, butterworth filter with the required specifications so what is omega c it is 4.5787 is that okay so in the expression i'll consider uh, let me consider h a of yes is equal to so consider the same expression which we had earlier it is a 1 uh, divided by uh, yes to the power 5 it was so now it is s divided by 4.5787 to the power 5 plus next we have 3.23 uh, 3.23 3 s4 yes divided by 4.5 to the power 4 plus later we have 5.23 s to the power 3 so s gets replaced with 4.57 to the power 3 plus uh, we had uh, 5.23 s square so 5.23 s divided by 4.57 to the power square plus 3.23 s 3.23 s divided by 4.57 to the power 1 plus 1 so it's very important so this is how it gets transformed finally what is the next step the next step is i just have to simplify find the lcm and you can uh, try to simplify this further so i leave that part to you and i would write the final answer h a of es is equal to in the numerator i would get it as uh, 2012.4 so it is uh, 20 i said uh, uh, 2012.4 and everything gets uh, divided by in the denominator I will have straight away I'll write the answer so I said I would uh, give that part to you so that you can solve it uh, and practice it it's just a factorization take the LCM and solve it further it is the s phi u s to the power phi u plus 14.82 s to the power 4 plus 109 Point eight s to the power three plus five zero two point six s to the power two plus one four two two point three s plus the last term is going to be two zero one two point four. So this is the final. Uh, the transfer function h a of s which we were uh, interested in so with this it is end of this uh, numerical i hope you people have understood everything i have explained everything in step by step and uh, it doesn't make it doesn't create any problem for you even though if there are still any doubts please let me know them into the comment section and i would definitely address those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel eng classes for more videos on digital signal processing and in the videos to come we'll consider even more uh, numericals on low pass butterworth filters till then thank you everyone for watching